welcome to a bonus episode of the Woolly Thistle Shopcast. We are excited to be here uh, on yet another Friday. So we're in between our usual mm -hmm. our usual thing and we thought, why not? Let's have a go and yeah. see how it goes. We'll keep it short. We have lots of things to talk about, but it's just us and we will... Uh, walk you through what we have to show you today yeah um but i'm corinne your host so welcome to or welcome back to the woolly thistle maggie is our awesome co-host and she's also our product development manager and we are. <laughs> <laughs> and so we are here because our rambler our first ever restock of rambler is today yeah uh, it did so well the first time that we had it when was that do you remember when that came out was it fall Yes, I think I it think was so. September-ish last yeah. year and so all this time we have been working with the mill and the dye house and we yeah. finally have it here. Uh, actually Mary Jean who is the owner of Batten Kill who mills the yarn delivered it to us yeah which was really really nice. So yeah so let's talk about Rambler shall we yeah. right off the bat or shall we talk about what we're wearing or anything like um, that? We can we, we can probably do the what we're wearing. Yeah do okay. Like a normal. You like that. Um, yeah. Okay so what are you wearing Meg? Um, I am wearing what is this thing called? <laughs> <laughs> I know what book it's from. It's, I know yeah it's from Hannah Fettig's texture book um, and I do not remember the name of it. I'm so bad. We'll put um, it here. I've worn it before, and I recently, in a few episodes back, I re-knit the collar because the shawl right. collar wasn't. And it's much more comfortable it, now. It is much more comfortable. The collar, like it was, it was really, it was bad. So if was you worth, don't, if you don't pick up enough stitches around the back of your neck, it's going to pull and it's going to feel rough. Yeah, it would, it would pull to where it was like this tiny little amount yeah. at the top, and then it was cinching up at the bottom. Yep. Um, and when I first did it, I had no idea that that's why it was doing that. Yeah. I just figured pattern error no, right it was me not um, yeah <laughs> was how me. many of us do that <laughs> like, that's a bad pattern no but it was me I knew it wasn't the pattern um but yeah so I'm I'm wearing that today um we can put the name of the yeah we um, we, we already did Maggie there, we're way ahead of you we're way <laughs> thank you thank you very much yes you're welcome um I yeah. will say too I have the and I used um I had bought some of yarn um from a Portland Maine yarn shop we were on vacation and that oh, was my souvenir well, I think it was it's knitwear. such a yeah. lovely wee shop yeah yeah, yeah. and it was quince so I, yep. I bought it years and it's ago. worsted it's worsted spun and yeah. it's heavy like if you carry yeah the, if you're carrying just the sweater yeah, next to pretty heavy yeah yeah like this held with if i hold this in one hand and my defiant cardigan which is all wrong the fennel garn held double total color work <laughs> this one outweighs it um <laughs> That's just one of yeah. those interesting facts yeah. about uh, yarn construction that we love. Yeah, worsted spun Heavy. yarn is always going to be denser. Denser and drapier and really good for shawl knitting, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which yeah. we'll talk about today, too. Yes. Yes. So, um, what are you wearing? What am I wearing? I am wearing the first prototype of the Dunrobin sweater, which... Um, sort of informed the next one and the next mm -hmm. one. So this one is really baggy around the back, but it's it's very comfortable. I still like it. It's knitted still in- wear it quite a bit. I do. Um, Studio Donegal Irish Heather mm -hmm. or Irish Tweed, Irish, no, Irish Heather. Heather. <clears throat> I really enjoy this yarn. I'm knitting with it again. Is it just the second time I've knit with it? Yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I'll be knitting with it. Um, Often it's a really and it just yeah. gets better and better with washing and wearing, which uh, many of our yarns do. I just love that. Yeah, it's not pilly. Um, I think it did pill a little bit at first. It sort of expelled a bunch of, mm -hmm. um, but that's because it is wool and spun, and they're more prone to do that. But once it's done, it's done. It's settled yeah. down, and um, and it wasn't that bad anyway. Yeah, so. I mean, I think pilling can happen. Like mine's actually pretty pilly right now. Mm. Um, but mine, I think the difference is mine's worse than spun, but it's a softer wool. Right, and so it slides out. It slides out, and whenever you have breakage, yeah. like if there's any kind of breakage in the fiber, then it'll roll back and it'll pill. Mm -hmm. Um, and softer, softer wools are more apt to for sure from friction. Um, yeah, and snap or break. yeah, it's yeah, just normal. Yeah. Yes, so I think superwash merino yarns, they're gorgeous and they are soft to wear, but I think they pill a mm -hmm. little bit more. But you know, we're not immune to pilling either. It right. does happen. But I've noticed with this, it was sort of like first few wears, it worked it out. And then after that, it's been... 
Really Especially not bad. with a woolen spun, you may end up with just shorter pieces of wool in the yarn. Yes. And those will work their way. And out. they're not lined up. So they're all, you know, they're trying to get out in a way because yeah. they're all higgledy piggledy. Yeah. Yep. So anyway, I love this. I love the drape of it. I love the warmth of it. Mm -hmm. And it's lightweight and yeah, really enjoy it. So Lovely. I saw on Facebook, I pop in there and see, you know, who's knitting and who's leaving photos. And I'm sorry, I don't know her name, but she knitted one of, uh, she was a test knitter mm -hmm. for Dunrobin and she knitted in the, the uh, Studio Donegal in sort of a brownish color. And you know how we're loving the browns? Yeah. It was gorgeous. Does she have a photo of her cat too? I don't know. I'm wondering if it's remember. Uh, Danielle, which is Old World Knits. She actually tagged us on Instagram too. And she paid us a very high compliment. She said that watching us is like uh, watching her, one of her favorite movies, um, You've Got Mail. <laughs> where it's like, like we're the little shop around the corner. Yes. I absolutely love that movie. Yes, and we're not going out of business. <laughs> Thank you. So I DM'd her. Thank you. Well, if that is your sweater, I really like it. I think I yeah. want to knit my next one. Yeah. Is she that... did. She had a really pretty um, yeah. brown. She was one of the test knitters. Yeah. 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 Well, beautiful. thank you for that. Thanks for going through that with us. Um, and yes, um, I'm working on the fix and the bringing it to the finish line. Yeah. So. It will be good when we get there. Good things are worth waiting they for. They really are. They really are. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, do you have any knitting with you today? Um, I, I brought my West Knit shawl. Since it's all in Rambler, I figured I'd bring it. I've made a little bit of progress. So if you want to see a little bit of progress. Yeah, let's um, see a little bit yeah. of progress. I did not bring the, my knitting. I'm all I did. I just figured because it was Rambler. And oh, was... my. What is that? <laughs> so this, <laughs> this is acrylic. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's in my bag. Um, it's so soft. It's very soft. Um, so I started. It looks kind of like the Sophie shawl. Um, I tend to knit a lot of prayer shawls or I had, I used to knit a lot of prayer shawls for my church and yep. I hadn't in a while. And I saw a little girl at our church wearing a prayer shawl Aww. and I'm like, I need to knit more. <laughs> so I cast one on and for Orange. when I'm tired at night, it's um, easy. It's easy. And you've got a nice eye cord edging, which I love. Yeah. Is that what that is? That's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And I'm just kind of making it up because I've knit enough West knits now that figuring out how to do that. I'm like, oh, I know how that works. And what do you do? Um, do you apply? So you, 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 well, what, what's it going to be? What's it going to look like? Is it going so, to be this way? It, so yeah, okay. it's going to be this way. It'll, once I get to a width that I like, I'll just knit it straight for gotcha. a while. And then when I get to the other end, I'll deep crease. Gotcha. Um, it is very much, very similar to the Sophie shawl, which is wildly popular for okay. petite knit, the petite knits. Okay. Um, so, all right. I, I just have that going. That's it so cute. It happened to be in my bag. That's so cute. Busted. 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 Acrylic police. Yeah. Just kidding. Just I mean, you know, it's all with, good. Knit with whatever floats all your boat. All knitting is good knitting. All knitting is good knitting. Absolutely. Um, so, so I have now finished, if you want to hold this up. So I finished that cable D side and I finished this cable D oh, side. Oh, so now we have matching. So now we have matching. This I feel really like, needs to, like this just feels down. like a butterfly or something or a moth, you know? Yeah. It's got that very sort of botan not yeah. botanical, and but this natural history. This will get a finishing edge on it. And then eventually, what? and then are you um, done or <laughs> no? <laughs> oh, no, and I looked at the instructions and I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, so it's just gonna be a long term project, it's, so bear yes. with me. Um, so Tenacious now Maggie. I thought it was gonna be, I thought next was gonna be this part uh -huh. here, and it's not. Oh, what's um, next? It's this oh. band, um, which I'll get closer up. Oh, pretty. It is really pretty. Are those twisted stitches? They're actually, look, they're twist. It's a combination twist and cable. Love it. Um, Love it. So I've got that. He really now. does make it up, doesn't he? As he goes along. He really does. Yeah. So um, where, how far does this go and what happens? So this goes this way. Uh-huh. And then eventually You'll this join. will this will join and i'm sure you'll you'll join it here at the same time and then mm. this will taper gotcha so that it gives you a finished I and mean, then that's it well i mean i gotta do it on that side too so, um. i think it's just it's miraculous what the thing, he does the thing i need to do now is like this is all i have this is hand spun and this is all i have of it so i think i'm going to weigh the ball of yarn and do as far and Half. do as far and calculate if i run out of yarn i don't know what happens oh my gosh 
should have thought of that before. <laughs> All right, well, but, make it work. Make yeah. it work. So, but I really like how the Rambler worked with the cables. Like they really. Yes. Pop. Yes. Um, and I've I've really been enjoying it. And it feels good. Them. It feels so, nice and squished. I won't bring that every time because it's slow going. I did not bring any knits. I am. Oh. <sighs> you know, I just I I have to design by doing. I am not mm -hmm. a conceptual. I mean, I definitely see things in my head, but to figure out how to do it, I have to do it. Yeah. So I have I have closed the mitten, you know, the four choice yeah. mittens. I have tapered and done all sorts of stuff. Don't like any of it. So I've ripped back many times and I'm still working on how I want okay. to finish this off. And um, so it's not looking any different from when you saw it last time. Uh, but there's been much work on it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I didn't bring any knitting. <laughs> That's all right. Because we're out of sync here, and I honestly forgot we were doing this. <laughs> That's okay. So the focus is on Rambler, and you have done, you have been working on the Agatha course. Well, yes, I have. So that is done and dusted. Um, that is going to be ready to launch. And that will be available today. Today. And so I've always called the Agatha socks uh, good for adventurous beginners, and I mm -hmm. stand by that. If you're an adventurous beginner sock knitter, knitter then you could manage this just with the pattern. Um, but the course is to just give you a wee bit of a, a hand as well because there's lots of stuff going on with this sock yarn, the, uh, with the sock pattern. There's changing uh, stitch counts on all the rows, mm -hmm. which is sort of, it can leave you a little bit out to see feeling. Right. There's uh, changing where the row begins, so you're moving your beginning of round marker to accommodate for things. And, you know, it's just, it's one of these lattice, uh, lattice work, uh, what do you call it, design? and it fits really well and it's lovely but it does it does take a little bit of your concentration but i think anyone can knit it that can knit socks so um but the course is just to give you that wee bit of a hand as well um is a go at your own pace like all our mm -hmm. courses and uh we do hear from people that they enjoy the course uh i'm sure i'm blithering on about all kinds of stuff in there as well as knitting the yeah. socks and so it's a video it's a pre-recorded video yes. course and you once you purchase the course you have access to it forever um, forever yep it's yours all right so um yeah the other exciting so um we have agatha um, and then um, we have yes. a new design from um, Virginia Sattler Reimer. Thank you, Virginia. Um, we love them. So coincidentally, um, the Agathas and <laughs> this first sock are all knit on the Winter Sky colorway. Yes, it's just um, very appealing. This as is, are all of this them. This is not a new sock pattern. I absolutely love oh, it. So it this beautiful pattern is the If You Go Out socks by Virginia. Which are just lovely. I love the cables and the lace on it. And she designed this uh, using our little catchphrase at the end of every episode. Yes. If you go out, take your knitting. Thank you, Virginia. So she knitted them in Rambler, which is yeah. just great. In the winter sky color, right? It would look amazing in any of All the of them. Mm -hmm. And here is the, so these are, these are wonderful. They're available in her Ravelry shop. Yes. That pattern. Yes. Um, and then this one is the brand new one, and we have kits in the shop today. Right. So she designed another sock yarn for Rambler. Yeah. And, and it's great. This one is called Moongate. Uh, I absolutely love these. Uh, the yarn is held double for this. But which is a lovely. Need, you still need just two skeins. Yep. Um, and and it's you use a so lot. It's so squishy. It really is squishy. And it feels like it's going to be super warm. Mm -hmm. And just mixing the color work with cables and ribbing. How gorgeous. It's just wonderful. You're a very beautiful knitter as well. I know. Her stitches are so even. Yeah. Thank so. you, Virginia. These are lovely. So what's, what are we doing with these today? So these, we have kits in the shop for this, and the kits come with um, a two skeins of yarn. You have a choice of different colors because this will look great Fabulous. in a multitude of colors. Yep. Um, and then you get the pattern download, a tote, and a beautiful little stitch marker. Yeah. These are going to be so comfortable in, they really are. in boots or anything. Yep. Yep. Thank yeah, you, Virginia. Absolutely wonderful. Yep. We love them. Good. So yeah. should we show the colors and talk about yes. the Rambler itself? Um, this has the full range of colors. Okay. All right. So we have 10 colors in the Rambler uh, series, um, starting with the one that's all natural. Look at our pretty, pretty label. We love that, don't we? Mm -hmm. um, so the natural is this lovely light gray color, and all the dyed yarns are dyed on this. Mm -hmm. um, and it feels so good, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, and the gray, um, the yarn is made with 80% dorset wool, 
10% uh, Corydale and 10% Romney, and a lot of the color that you get is from the Romney. Yeah, um, yeah, 80% is nice. gorgeous. 80% Dorset because it gives it that bounce, and I think it's fairly sturdy as well. It's a three ply yarn, so mm -hmm. it's got a nice twist on it because we did make it for sock wearing, yeah, which is fabu. Here's the winter sky color that those samples were knitted in, which is lovely, isn't it? Mm hmm. It's got lovely, um, you can see the gray coming through a little bit. Yeah. It's just, it's not, it's heathered, I suppose. Yeah, and there's veg matter. Mm -hmm. I know, I saw some in We do enjoy veg matter here. Um, yeah, so do you want to show one sure. of your favorites? I like the trillium. Mm -hmm. That red. Yes. <laughs> Give me wearing the red again. I know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we think that um, you got to be careful with these vibrant colors. Yeah, yeah we've switched dye houses um, through this process, and um, yeah, there's just less, um, I think, dye left in this game. Yeah, so it's old and has been washed many, many times. Mm -hmm. So I think it is smart to do a test before you go using it with in color work or something, yeah. or washing it with your whites. When and you do and that. If, in case, you can always throw in a color catcher. Color catchers are good. Yes. yes. So uh, confident with that. Mm -hmm. Lichen is this lovely green. It's sort of blowing out a little bit on the, the lighting, but it's a lovely, lovely green. Mm -hmm. Blue spruce. Um, and Virginia's Moongate socks were right. done in the blue spruce and, and the, the natural. natural. They all feel really, really good. They really do. Uh, golden fern, which is another favorite. We love all these colors. I mean, we got to choose our colors. Mm -hmm. So these are the colors we love. And we think they put together a very nice palette together, which we'll show yeah. you. This one is pine. Which is really nice. And we want them to be really wearable colors too. Mm -hmm. So um, this here is lake, which is a nice darker blue. Mm -hmm. Aster, which is a nice lake. I love that. I know. So good. And here is lupin or lupine. And just very pretty. Very, very pretty. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. So oops. So these are everything together. Shall we hold them up together? Yes. I love holding them up together. Yeah. So pretty. Pretty. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> the whole range. And you can, you know, I, I love that she did a color work design. Mm -hmm. Virginia did a color work. Yeah. What are some colors that you could combine together? I think these two would go in really nice together. Yes. I think any of them with the natural would work, yeah. obviously. I think um, Kelsey previously showed the socks that yes. she knit, I believe, were these two colors. Um, yeah. The, the, um, yes, I think you're right. Yeah, the lichen and the pine. Yeah, which is really good. Um, you could do the same idea with two blues. Mm -hmm. That would be really cool looking and the purples you could yes you could do it with the purples um you could do purple and blue together or pinky purple blue i like the green and the blue the green and the mm -hmm. yes the, that's a, um blue, blue spruce blue spruce is like really it. good yeah. yeah um let's see and of course they all go good with the natural green and aster this is pine and aster together if you're the type of person that likes red and green together uh-huh <laughs> or yeah yeah so pretty yeah um yeah so they yeah, if all you wanted really to do well. a nice christmas knit yeah like the two greens the red and the natural oh yeah that look at so that pretty. quite sophisticated Start as well sweater for next sophisticated year. christmas mm -hmm. there you go yes so yes we're loving these we're so happy to have them back it was so nice of mary jean jean to drop these off um mm -hmm. and deliver them by hand which was really thoughtful and yeah. kind um our team have been putting all the ball bands on mm -hmm. and making sure everything is good and ready to go, which it is as of today. Today at noon? Yep. Yep. So uh, run over and get yours and we will have 10 packs again. Yes. We did that last time where you could buy one of everything in a 10 pack. So those will be available. Those were quite popular. Yep. They sold out pretty quickly. I love these colors together. <laughs> they do all look really nice. Um, on the dye lot too, each band um, is labeled so that if you're purchasing from the new one they will have the dialogue you will know which uh yes so when when they're in your stash and you go to knit with them you'll know which dialogues they came yeah because there could be some slight variations since the last batch but really 
we, we were able to get them to yeah, match they it. Co they color match them really yeah. well. Um, yeah. When we hold them up to the eye, the naked eye doesn't necessarily need, uh, see a difference, but we all know that sometimes it's not tends a to A little bit anything. different, yeah. So, yeah. so the, the old dye lot rule definitely yeah. applies for sure. All right. Um, so yeah, Virginia, thank you so much for your fabulous design. Designs plural, supporting the Wooly Thistle and mm -hmm. all our customers. I hope that you run out and support Virginia's uh, shop with these and with this. This is going to be a kit, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these will be in kit form. And, um, and for those, you just need any color single skein. Yep, and you can go buy this at her Ravelry store. Yeah, so our kit will have the download for this pattern, for the Moongate pattern. Right. Um, but you'll want to get the if you go out. Sock right pattern directly from Virginia. yes yes and of course the agatha socks will have a kit as well yeah yeah so we got two kits and you could knit any sock yeah. pattern as and well while you're in virginia shop she has an abundance of gorgeous she is a patterns. sock designer and does a beautiful job so she yes does socks she does color work mm -hmm. she's got the she's done the, yes. probably her most famous color work my guess would be the tedagush which was in one of kate davies books yep um, the one you're knitting from, maybe the hat one. I think it is in Milwaukee Heats, actually. I think it, it is near the back of the book. Yeah. Um, I'm still working on the front of the book. <laughs> um, but um, and then we ha actually have the tavern. Um, da nope. Davern. Davern. <laughs> Tam. And those are mitten, lovely. The hat and mitten set. Yep. <clears throat> um, and you can get the yarn from us in a yarn set and the pattern directly from Virginia. Right. Um, she also has a number of shawl patterns. It, does she really? She does. I have knit one of hers. Um, I love it in hand spun, um, but it's beautiful in anything. I think she used like Cornish Garden from Blackguard for it, but oh. it's the bandwidth shawl. Or she has a number of shawl patterns. All right. So we definitely will link, obviously, to Virginia, but check out all her offerings because she and the Willie Thistle are very much in alignment. And we're going to be having the shawl cow soon. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, thank you again, Virginia. We appreciate it. Yeah. Um, yeah so shawl cow. So shawl cow. Um, sign up is now open on the shop. Um, kits are forthcoming. We have some kits already, especially if you're looking to make a hat. Yeah. Like the Hansel hat. Yes. Um, we have kits in the shop. Uh, this is my own colorway. Yeah. But um, we have lots of beautiful colorways yes. in the shop. Um, yes. Including Gudrun Johnston. Um, she is the designer of the Hansel hat. Um, her colorways um, are available in the shop, and um, we have some woolly thistle colorways that we put together last year, and we're going to add a few new ones. Yes, yes. So the Hansel Hap is a timeless, timeless uh, piece, so um, never goes out of fashion. It is a hap, so it's a very traditional uh, design. Um, <clears throat> and when you mix up the colors, you know, maybe you're adding your own uh, flair with the colors. But um, yeah, so we're going to have lots of haps available and you are welcome to knit a hap. <clears throat> we do still have the, the hap exploration videos which are available mm -hmm. in the shop. So if that interests you and you want to do your own little uh, self-study and watch the interviews I did last year, those are available. Um, but we're opening it up to all kinds of shawls. Yeah, and a hap is the Shetland word for a shawl. Um, it's actually the Shetland word for wrap. So okay. uh, they use them to wrap themselves and stay warm. They didn't have coats in the old right. days. And you'll see pictures of, you know, women and girls knitting. And they have this hat tucked into their waist belt to mm -hmm. keep it on and their skirts, you know. And so, yeah, but it's taken as meaning a shawl. Yes. Yes. So any kind of shawl is good any kind of shawl and they come in all different shapes they and sizes do. um some more traditional and some less traditional and for those of us who are garment knitters this is sort of like a lovely palette cleanser because mm -hmm. you don't need to worry too much about gauge or you know um construction although shawls can have many different constructions but right. i think it's more forgiving so this is this is an opportunity to relax and knit something that you're really going to love and use yeah uh but um might be a little bit easier on the old brain because you're not you know expecting it to fit perfectly or anything like that it, you yeah. know a gauge big is a little bit less important yes a big shawl is just as good as the shawl that lands right on gauge yeah, yeah. so i did bring a small sample of my own shawls to Yay. so that we could talk a little bit about shawl construction yep um because there's different um talk shapes. to us so i don't know if we want to look at the half to see yes, the basic I think that's a good start so um, this uh, is the Hansel Half Hap. Oh, it's lovely. It's so soft. Um, and this is the, the large size um, that I knit. Right. And I knit the large uh, full hap and I haven't finished it yet. 
So I need to work but on you that. You have a chance to finish. Yes, exactly. We will let you, since you are not prize eligible, you can finish. <laughs> I can do whatever I like. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it, you can see that it has the square center or a triangular center, right. and then all the outgoing. So um, you start by knitting this back and forth, mm -hmm. and then you pick up stitches and you knit back and forth on this border, and then there's an applied edging. Mm -hmm last which you may choose not to do you don't have to but it certainly adds a beautiful lacy finish yes to the shawl and just remind us what you knitted this in um so i knit this in um armscope manor's black welsh mountain it's gorgeous uh, i think i used two skeins mm. um, it's so and soft then, and squishy yeah and then my stripes are a mix of the the three of the colors, the peach, the greeny yellow, and the white are all woolly mammoth. Yep. Um, and the teal is a blacker. Yes. Um, this is another hap, just because we are hap centric here, I think. <laughs> this here is the Balvraid hap by, ooh, we'll put her name there. <laughs> she designed it for blacker, mm -hmm. but I actually used Berlin yarn for this, the Hebridean. So this is all one color. And you can see same construction where I knit back and forth on the center and then you pick up stitches and and when you them. when you started did you start here at the bottom I'm pretty of the sure triangle? you do you go yes but I I won't swear to that if somebody um but yes I'm that's pretty a pretty sure. standard half it construction is. I think so and I would have remembered casting all that on so yeah. yeah you start at the bottom and you increase very easily and then you knit back and forth the lacy part and then you apply the edging mm -hmm. and this is one of my favorites i really enjoyed knitting this mm -hmm. i would i would knit this again actually so yeah. that's the balvraid hap which is a good one um, um <clears throat> oh look at this i know so this is a non-traditional shape um this is the ito shawl by melody hoffman which we still sell kits for even mm -hmm. now several years since yeah. it came out people love it yeah because i i remember we this was probably one of our first yarn sets yeah that we ever put together yeah, I think in the so. shop and it's plotilopi yeah, it's Plotolopi. It is absolutely wonderful. Look how um, fluffy. It's almost a schlanket. Like, especially, I'm not very tall. Um, <laughs> but you you use multiple colors, and she has you um, at sort of, you know, gradient them together and go from dark over to light. And the lace is just so pretty. It is. And it's very woolly smelling. It oh, my gosh. It sort of gorgeous. ends up triangular, but you're really, you start from this end with a few stitches, and you go to the big end. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's very cozy. It's and it's is does not it bother has, me. It has softened up over time. At first, it was it was. I mean, it's it's plotilopi, so it was a little prickly. But I have I wrap up in it frequently. Yeah, that's again that's something about the yarns we sell here at the Woolly Thistle is they get better and better with age. So this has they softened really up. This feels so fluffy, so comforting. Mm -hmm. So I do believe we have uh, yarn sets for this stocked in the shop right now. Um, I wouldn't hesitate on this because as soon as you know, they, they typically sell out and then yeah. we have to wait to get more yarn. <laughs> yeah. And usually we're waiting for like one. Yeah. One color. color. In particular. Yeah. Um, if it is out by now, we will work to restock it. Um, I love how this dark. I'm really into brown right now too. This feels very. Yeah. And the nice thing about Plotilopi is when you're working that gradient, um, like she really, she shows you in the pattern where to intersplice the lighter colors. Right. And it's great because you just break it, rub it together and keep going. Yeah. It's the fastest it's... splicing. Exactly. Exactly. It's just wonderful. Do we have any other shells to show? I do. So I brought a couple more. Um, this one, we no longer carry this yarn, but I love this shawl. Um, we had this in as a special. This was from Black, uh, Black Elephant. Black Elephant. Was it Black Elephant? Black Elephant? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. Black Elephant. Um, she's an indie dyer out of the UK. Yeah. Um, and this is the Waiting for Rain shawl. Um, it's hard to see um, the pattern on the, because of the, like, the variation the variegate, in yeah. it. Yeah. But what I like about this is it's a crescent shape, as you can see, a very long wingspan. Yeah. Um, and, that, that and if you're range. new to lace, um, it's great because it has these little wedges of lace. Um, mm -hmm. And so it gives you a little sampling and then you're back to garter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so same thing here. Then you, it's Beautiful. got like three lacy sections. Um, Very nice. Yeah, her yarn is lovely. I don't tend lovely. to re-knit patterns, but I have knit this one twice. Have you? So for me, that's yeah. high praise. Um, I knit one for my sister and then I was like, I want one. Yeah. Um, and I knit one for myself. Cool. And I absolutely love it. I would knit it again. Yeah. Yeah. So fun to see the fun. crescent. 
Um, and then I forget the name of this one. This one's knit in hand spun. It's very soft. Um, what I like about this one, and I want to show you, is because it's a similar triangular shape, but it's more of a classic triangular shape. You start at the top. You've got that center spine. This is a free pattern on Ravelry. We'll put the name there. But you've got that center spine and um, very even increases. increases along the spine um, until it goes. And with just a little eyelet for, mm -hmm. for you know, and so very simple knitting, but really yeah. eminently wearable, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. So, you know, whatever you want to knit, whether it's a complicated shawl, or a simple shawl, it's up to you. You do what you want to do. Yeah. And all are, all are welcome. Yeah. Uh, so. Any more? Um, I have one more, which is, um, <laughs> speaking of non-traditional, um, it is the Dotted Rays shawl from Stephen West. This was super fun. Um, you start here, he has an I-cord edge, so he teaches you how to do that. And you start here at this little tiny center and it just grows out into these big gorgeous with little dots. What did you knit this in? This is also hand spun. Wow. Um, so it's spun singles. Um, it was Snurb yarn um, back when she was still dying. Wow, um, beautiful. And yeah, so it was just really fun. So, and they all wear a little bit differently, yeah. like how you put them on. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I just wanted to mention <clears throat> this might have had a garter stick, a garter tab. A garter tab, yeah. So um, if you're new to shawl knitting, which if you are, please join in. You'll have lots of support from all the other knitters. Um, but a garter tab often will start a shawl and that's so that you basically, typically will knit two stitches or three stitches, three or six rows, something like mm -hmm. that. And then you pick up the, the stitches down the side, across the bottom and up the other side. And what that does is it lets you start in the middle mm -hmm. of the long because now you've got all these stitches going here and it eventually sort of flattens out yep. and so it saves you having to cast on a bajillion stitches on the long end yep. um so that's what that is um i remember being why am i doing that that's weird you yep. know but that's why it, it just helps you um and then you can just <clears throat> increase out from the middle which is a really nice thing but yeah new knitters new shawl knitters experienced shawl knitters oh my gosh i mean if we could have somebody knitting a beautiful lace shetland lace shawl yeah. you know that would be the time to cast that on and let us let us all be wowed by your wonderful cobweb lace but you know not, not required but that would be that would be awesome and um do you know what you're going to be knitting i don't know yet mm. i don't know yet um when does it start cast on day is april 21st Yes, yeah, so plenty um, of time still to get your ducks in a row. Yeah, Start looking. Yes. Check, Check out Virginia's um, Ravelry page for all the socks and all the shawls. Mm -hmm. um, but we, we support all designers who have yeah. ever designed a shawl. We would love for you to find that perfect shawl that you want to knit. Um, we are asking that people knit with 80% woolly thistle yarn, but it can be stash yarn that you've already bought. So go stash diving for that. That's cool. Yep. We will have kits too, though. If that is something that takes your fancy, then yeah, please do. Um, okay, anything else? No, that's it. That's everything? <clears throat> that's what we mm -hmm. wanted to talk about today? That is it. Okay, so we hope you've enjoyed this little bonus episode from us. I've enjoyed doing it, mm -hmm. um, even though I forgot. It's nice. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get myself worked up beforehand, which is always nice. Nice. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Just bring it on you more often. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Uh, but anyway, uh, glad you're here and hope you enjoyed and we enjoy being with you. We look forward to you showing us your Rambler purchases on social media. Don't forget to I do one more thing to say. Oh, go ahead. Tomorrow is the last day for our color work cow. Yes. So if you are finishing up your projects, be sure to submit them in either our Facebook group or our Ravelry group. Um, so that you can make sure to be eligible for prizes. Yes, and we love seeing all your color work. It's been really fun. I think Maggie and I were, were thinking about having another color work something or other mm -hmm. down the road a little bit yeah. because it really is fun to do that together. It is. Yes, so I think all that's left to say, Maggie, is if you go out, take your knitting. Bye. Bye.